when I was pregnant, I didn't know that Karuka had Down syndrome. So my world shattered. I was scared for her future and I didn't know how I was going to bring her up. In front of people, I would put on a happy face. But when I was alone, there were thoughts, unwanted thoughts. My mother one day told me that Karuka would be all right when she grows up and that she would be independent. But at that time, everything looked so bleak. A few months after Karuka was born, I was having a long conversation with a mother of a child with Down syndrome, a daughter with Down syndrome. Uh, it was a very long conversation and we were, uh, I was asking her a lot of questions about what it's like to bring up a child with Down syndrome, what they are like, how they behave, etc. At some point in the middle of a conversation, see, uh, she made this very profound point. Uh, she said that at the end of the day, Karuka is going to resemble more my other daughter than her daughter, meaning uh, the daughter of the person whom I was talking to. Uh, that's the sort of thing that has been a repeated theme throughout our uh, bringing up Karuka. Karuka does uh, speech therapy and uh, occupational therapy. She goes for music therapy, which calms her down. And uh, she also does sports physiology, which helps her with the physical activities. Most of all, Auslan is something which has been very useful to her because she's also deaf in one ear and she has moderate hearing loss. She has picked up Auslan really well. And sometimes she teaches me how to sign certain words which I don't know. Can you tell me, how do you sign Amma? Amma. Amma. That's, oh, that's mum. As important as these life skills are in developing Karuka's ability to function independently in society, our primary goal is for Karuka to have a life with meaning, purpose, love and fulfilment. We soon discovered Karuka's love for photography. This soon developed into a passion of Karuka's that we saw as a fantastic opportunity for her. We realised that she needed a platform to share the photos that she was so proud of with the many people who have been so influential and supportive throughout her life. This was the beginning of Down to Earth, showing Kruka's original photographs as she explores her world through the lens of a camera. She is not a child who is defined by Down syndrome. Uh, she is a child, a unique child, and uh, her art is unique to her. I think her photos have a strong sense of place. There are flowers uh, always with the background of the sky. There's a lot of sky. There are roads, paths leading to somewhere. She sees place in a very, uh, very interesting way. She brings her own meaning to the places that she photographs. I also noticed that although her photographs are very grounded, they are also reaching for something in that sort of having the sky as a background, the paths, roads, etc. They are also reaching to something. Photography is a passion of Karuka's that is unrestricted by her abilities. She doesn't need to wear hearing aids, she doesn't need to be told what to do, and most importantly, it is a reflection of her abilities that also brings her great pride and joy. We've already seen her abilities create success, winning the Wisdom in Focus People's Choice Award, and also even hosting her own exhibition this year in June. We are so proud of Karuka, and we know that she has the potential to go so far with her photography. We hope that it will continue to give her great meaning and passion in life whilst demonstrating her abilities and her great talents. We live in a society where we are constantly trying to hide or silence the things that we don't like to see. But the sort of the rush to have a perfect body image, an immigration system that actually stops or prevents people with uh, <coughs> disabilities from settling in Australia. Uh, to the thousands of uh, fetuses that are aborted every year because they have a disability. We are constantly trying to curate our society to look as if, look in a particular way that we like to see. I see Karkar's photographs as a destruction to this. I would invite you to bring your own interpretation to our photos and also to bring your own meaning to them.